The Motown Mansion was built in 1917 by Nels Mitchelson, a Danish immigrant who arrived in the United States in 1866 and established several successful lumber and timber companies in Michigan. Constructed in an Italian Renaissance revival style, the original mansion was approximately 8,500 square feet with nine bedrooms, five full baths, four fireplaces, and a carriage house large enough to accommodate five cars and house two apartments above it. In 1925, Leonard Augustus Young purchased the house from the Mitchelson family. Young significantly renovated the house and property. He added ornate carved marble mantelpieces to the fireplaces and installed custom light fixtures and bronze doors in each room. Young upgraded the house with state-of-the-art technology, installing a theater to screen the latest movies from MGM Studios, a company in which he was an investor. The most impressive addition to the two-acre estate was a 4,500-square-foot athletic building. The facility included an Olympic-sized swimming pool, bowling alley, gymnasium, and billiards room. Pablo Davis, an artist who worked with Frida Kahlo, Diego Rivera, and Pablo Picasso, purchased the property in 1964. Upon purchasing it, Davis split it into two parcels. The property's most famous resident, Barry Gordy Jr., bought both parcels in 1969, reuniting the estate. Gordy Jr.'s acquisition of the property happened only 10 years after he borrowed $800 to form Motown Records. His ability to purchase this impressive property within the span of a decade attests to the meteoric rise in popularity and bankability of Motown artists and those running the operations. Gordy Jr. hosted many Motown stars at his home for parties and private concerts. In the early 2000s, he sold the house to Cynthia Reeves. In 2010, Reeves put the house on the open market for the first time since its construction. It is now owned by a private individual.